Hello everyone, welcome. What you see right in front of you is a huge transformer. This one is an oil type transformer because there's a conservative tank here. There's a mineral oil in this tank. What this oil does is it avoids the corona discharge and preserve the core and windings. It also dissipates the heat of the transformer. So okay, let's talk about the component. This component right beside the conservative tank. The one right here is called the silica gel breather. So what is it? Well, as you know, the lungs performs the filtration of air in the human body. Similarly, the silica gel breather performs, allows the transformer to breathe in and breathe out. So okay, how does it do it? Well, in normal time, the conservative tank has a mid-level of oil. When the transformer heats up, the oil expands and the air pressure is built up. Now to release that pressure, that pressure moves through the pipe and through the silica gel and it moves out. Well now what happens when the transformer cools down? So as you can see right over here, let's take a closer look. When the air moves in, this small cylinder has an oil trap. It removes the dust particle from the air and makes sure a clean air moves through the silica gel. And what does silica gel do? Well, as you have seen it in your shoe box, there is a small wrap of silica gel. It, uh, its main function is to absorb the moisture. So the air that is going through the going towards the conservative tank is make sure that there is no moisture and it's a dry clean air to avoid the reaction with the immersed oil. So that's why this silica gel breather is used. The another name for this gel is silica gel is called the dehydrant breather. Well, that's it for today. Thank you.